Okay, so we're in the process of making some magic items to help some people be better, hopefully. Working on research, stuff, stuff, stuff. Not recruiting anybody. Another druid. Um, what else should we do? I think we have some slingers up here. For the druid, so the druid can follow us around. In the meantime, build some more infantry for Rupulus to play around with. I have Veronica do some druid or some slinger stuff. Although her spells, yep, yeah, she can do it. Like a small number of targets with severe dehydration. That's a nice way to go. Nah, she's good now. Yeah, we'll save these guys for a druid. Mark, actually, this guy could do it too. He's a hero type leader. That's a little bit of everything. Yeah, he can actually do stuff. He'll get the slingers. Now he can join us. Luke. For you, I'm going to change this up a little bit. So, blessings, so we're encourage. I want. What's he going to be doing? Oh, that's right. He does the, the sling. So, oops. Not too aggressive there with the clicks. He's got the magic sling for taking out people's eyes. Same. Let's do the was it uh, true shot and venom arrow so poison sling stones and his last spell to protect himself maybe oh we can ignite arrows too let's we'll stick with the poison. It's not luck. Air shield. Um, yeah, that'll protect him from, well, hopefully protect him from uh, arrows and stuff. And then he's going to just use his sling. Almost enemies, that'll work. Let's have his troops do that too. Let's go enemy archers. She's doing two shot, blessing, air shield, and venom arrow, so that's working too. You did there. it wrong. No, I didn't. This is how you do it. <sighs> I didn't do it wrong. Warg. Please excuse me. 
That was embarrassing. I know. I meant to say. Jag. Milo Mindben, welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. Okay, so this is our little potential assassin. For the time being, she's going to sit back here. He's going to sit back here. I think it's actually a she, but uh, you're treating for now. Until you're ready to be an assassin, you're not going to really do anything yet. Uh, she's making her silent boots, so yeah, assassin stuff. Patrolling, patrolling, patrolling. Running, we have 700. More troops, more researching. We do both. Oh, we're doing a druid. We're going to need more slingers. It's a lot of slingers. It's 400. Another one of you for research purposes. That's that. Okay, next turn. So, that. Thaumaturgy level 2 gets us. Beast Fury and Sleep. And a little bit of water, too. Range 35. Only one person, though. Blah. Level 3. Jeez. Oh, this makes people go crazy and attack each other. Oh, it's only one person. Yeah. Um. Panic. Hmm. Definitely grab that. Okay, so get the level three, then we'll go conjuration at least to minimum three. Still want to get alteration two, right? Personal bark skin. You get this up to three. Gift of cat eyes. So dark vision, partial, bark skin, enemy tree, moss body. This is damage by 15, fire resistance 5, moss explosion, 1A and poison damage, 4 AoE. So you get hit by this and stuff gets poisoned around you. Mm -hmm. Topor. Yeah, it really functions at a few units. Target becomes unnaturally tired. Swarm, shrink, stuff, blood poisoning, mother oak. What's mother oak? Oh, this is mighty seal. All oaks in the realm is enchanted to become the greatest oak there ever was. The mother oak produces magical acorns that can be harvested and made into nature gems. Grants 10 nature gems per month. The oak increases growth by two in the province where it is cast. Hmm. Requires a lot of nature, though. Five? Five. I don't think we have anybody of five nature. Unexpected event. Fire gems plus six. Thank you. Battle fix secured. That's Veronica being her thing. So. Nature five. Nature four. Yeah, she's the highest. We empower yet? No, we can bump up her nature. No, we can't. Set 75. Or we need 75. How many turns of that? That'll be a few turns. Can always do that. 
the alchemy stuff, though. Gems to nature. I got to turn them into pearls first. I only have four pearls, so I've got to turn them this way. Oh, wait, that's the wrong way. That's expensive. We don't have that much of an income on gems, so. Okay, so we get there. So we have some magic items to distribute. Um, controls. Your horsey gets the saddle of enchanted saddle after. So hit points and proud steed, so he's better at defense, morale, and magic resistance. And then Luke rules himself. The lucky charm affects the mount too. And then armor and the boots go to our potential assassin. So that didn't actually that make the armor better? I don't think so. Need better armor. Okay, our potential assassin is you. And you're gonna get the boots of silent. Silent boots to you. Now you just need a decent weapon. Because I found out assassinations, you actually have to kill the person in combat. It's not just a random type roll type stuff. You actually have to be geared out for it. So the assassin should, you know, have a blade of grass, so cut him and make him bleed. Shillelagh. You get a sprite to go with you and get some luck. Not the best damage, but... Hunter's knife. Armor piercing. Burning blade. Light him on fire. Constantly burning unless it's sheath that is cavern. Anyone struck by the blade will be burned by the intense heat as well. Attack defense. So two two one. Hmm. Yeah, let's make one of these. Gossamer account or Ranger's Cloak. Ranger's Cloak just makes it more hit points and more sneaky. Gown. Hit points and awe. Hit points, Berserker, Instant Berserk. Reducing his defense. I mm, don't want to do that, I don't think. Hit points attack, defense, cold resistance. Mm. 
So awe or defense. And attack skill. For an assassin, I don't know. Direwolf, I guess. So, druid. Research for now. What kind of stuff can you do? Ivy crown. So, vine. Oh, this is if you're doing summoning vinemen. You're not. No big deal. The horned helmet. That's not good. The mirror armor. Chance to protect the wearer against hostile magic. So four hit points and magic resistance. Invigoration, stealth, force of armor. Actually, that'd be better for her, wouldn't it? Then invigoration during combat would be nice. Get all the slingers, so. Oh, she can only need 10? Ugh. So, what can you actually do? Stand back and cast spells up to do after you buff everybody. So, that'll work. Uh oh. Hurricane! Thank you very much for the gift subs. Five gifts, five tier one gift subs. Thank you very much. So congratulations to uh, Jen, uh, Jed, Smithers, Years in Years in Not a Bad, I guess, uh, and, and guess I'm Smoky, so or Spooky. So make sure all you guys thank uh, Hurricane for the gifts up, and thank you again for Hurricane for 440 of those now. Very generous of Hurricane, as always. Okay, so you. So these are the, these guys up here. Fire at closest enemy. We have more, more slingers. Where should we put these guys? Oh, Luke. Only like 33 now for him. And Hurricane's been watching three consecutive streams. 
He's been busy playing other games, that's why. Can't be bothered to watch every day. Okay, so these guys all set. Still a lot of slingers. Jeez. Okay. Okay, next turn. Battle affliction secured. I wish they'd tell us which battle affliction has been cured instead of just saying one has been cured. It'd be nice to see which one actually was. Because I, I didn't even know we had any. So, anyway. Stuff. Okay, you guys. Go beat up on 80 units. Deer Tribe. 70 units. Ghouls and Soulless down here. Oh, wonderful. What's this here? Oh, there's a thing. Whatever. Um, wish we could breathe underwater. Okay, so you want... Yeah. I want Lug, Lug to join us. Research. Da, da, da. Research. Research. We have items to hand out, though, right? I forget what we're making. Oh, that's for the the assassin stuff. So that's you. That sword. Sorry, we have to get rid of these boots. They're in storage for now. Needs more stuff. It's got reinvigoration, assassin one, dark vision for survival, lucky, iron vulnerability, of course, gotten glamour, stealthy, cold resistance stuff. Can't really make any decent uh, head armor, I don't think. Nah, just a lot of research for now. Can't we drain that lake? Um, I don't think so. Much as I'd like to, I don't think so. Okay, we're going to save our money for building a temple and stuff up here when we need to. I think that's it. I think that's it. Next turn. Let's 
So, Thaumaturgy, Turgy, level 3. So we got some Panic, and we can do Gias as well. Do Conjuration to summon more stuff. After that, I do not know yet. We'll decide when we get there. Okay, so there's a battle in Jome. Jome. We lost 13 Slingers somehow. You guys aren't supposed to be up that close. How'd that happen? Because apparently these guys got close, it looks like. We now have at least a few heroes who can be named, right? Oh, there's a few. There's been a few. Hero is being very generous, though. That's why you guys got eaten up, because you're not killing those guys fast enough. That's Veronica's dogs chasing down all the bad guys. Yeah, sh shooting at. Oh, they're shooting at a tree. The poor tree. Oops. Please stop saying oops. You are making me look bad. So again, lost 13 slingers in that fight for some reason. Okay, one bad, bad affliction was cured, so yeah. Oh, sorry, we're up there. Okay, so search for magic sites. Search. You've got two errors, so you don't need to search, so you can construct our temple. And we've got a little bit of unrest, so that's your job. Group rules to control the province, get it taken care of. And what can we recruit here? Deer tribe stuff. And yes, if you want to be one of the, the commanders or generals, whatever you want to call them, we have a few. Uh, let's see. So, Fucruels is our prophet currently. Lug is a hero. He's a, like a superhero almost. He's special. He's even got his own little write-up. He's the guy of many skills. He's very talented. He does basically everything. Literally, he does everything. <laughs> Except for all the well, magic. He's got four skill, or, uh, schools of magic there. But he can be renamed, I think, still. Once they get to a certain point, they can't be renamed. So, but again, if you'd like to have somebody named after you, just uh, look down at the bottom of your chat window, see a little squirrel with the numbers next to it, click on that and choose Name Generator. I think that's what it is. And uh, we'll, go for, uh, go that. Ah, we'll go through the process. Oh, once in Hall of Fame? Okay, I thought it was just once they get a certain level. What casters safely tucked in the city or are around? Fanny's so brave. Uh, basically, these these people. They're not very high, they're not very you know great, but they're there. 
two water, one nature, one glamour. Looks like they're all the same. Yeah, they're all pretty much the same. They're not going anywhere. Hey, you're different. Oh, you got the actual earth. Fanny the Fay. But which one? Oh, we forgot to bring the druid with us. That's yeah, okay. The cool one. So, the cool one. The one who doesn't have the water magic? Or, sorry, doesn't have the two water magic? You only have one? You have one earth instead? Got four? We'll make this one Fanny. Oops. I do not think oops means what you think it means. There. Now the question is, can you do any decent magic? I don't think so. Or, sorry, magic items. Oops, 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 oops. That's not what I want to do anyway. So, it's a helmet. It's an ice helmet. Crown of lead. Magic resistance one. So the earth gives you a little bit more choices on what to build. A faithful. Infliction resistance one. It's lucky too. How many lucky items do you need? More importantly, how many blades of grass do you need? For an assassin. Hunter's knife, there's your armor piercing. It's a pixie spear. That's pixie fatigue. 25 fatigue damage. Nice. Toy sword. It deal with quickness and lightness to better be able to wield a parry incoming attack. So, one attack, six defense. Hmm, actually, might not be bad for the assassin. So, Fanny's making that. Patrolling, patrolling, patrolling. You guys are building a temple and searching. No, actually. Yeah, we don't want one of those. This druid, we should bring her back, or him back, for some more slingers. It's a lot of slingers. Okay, we'll have enough to build a temple. Oh, we already have enough. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, so next turn, next turn. Conjuration completed for level two. So as far as conjuration goes, sea dogs, crocodiles, animals, cave grubs for Fenny. Fire ants for what's his face? Hawks, storm power. Og oh, Fanny can summon an ogres if we have enough gems. Algae men. Algae men are masses of corals, algae, and other kinds of seaweed in the general form of a humanoid. They will return to their slumbering state if left without magic leadership on the battlefield. Pack of wolves, summoned horned serpents, killer mantis, tapestry of G, killer mantis, bunch of giant killer mantis. These beasts are large, 
as large and fully grown moose as a moose and they are well equipped to kill with their amazing speed and sharp claws in addition to being dangerous they're also very stupid and need a mage in order to control them horned serpents major is a sandy desert summon and bind several horned serpents the Serastes are large, venomous serpents that hide beneath the sands in order to surprise their prey. Can only be cast in wastelands, so what about the mantises? Can't be cast underwater. Ten of them. Five gems. Hmm. Level three. They're going after the summon, the Kusi Sith. Sith? Sith. I don't know. City. I have no idea how to pronounce that word. Uh, our huge dark green fey hounds from the uh, land of the ever young. They are sacred, so they're special. And we'll be summoning those when we get a chance. Oh, bog beast, you got two water. Call of the wild. A werewolf and a large pack of wolves in a distant land. The werewolf is under the command of its summoner. So it's only half as effective when used when a non-forest province is targeted. So anyway, work on that. So that's a couple months away before we're done. Uh, what should we work on next? What's level four conjuration? Leo Griffs? The roof is a mythical half beast, part lion, part eagle, and made a griffin. It is, uh, by some scholars, considered to be a degenerate from the oh, degenerate from the griffin. They are only slightly stronger than lions, but their mythical heritage makes them even more resistant to magical effects. Get twenty of them though. A swamp drake. Service Swamp Drake is a huge and spined beast able to breathe toxic gas like a dragon. Sounds fun. And vine ogres. Lion is large and has an exceptionally thick hide. That'd be nice to have. Strength of Gaia. Can we summon an owlbear? I don't see that here. You have to wait on till Friday for that one, for Bruce. Water Cabal. Cave Cabolds. The end of the... What's at the end of the rainbow? Transition beyond the great... Gate of Horn to find what lies hidden at the end of the rainbow. All sites of glamour in the targeted province are revealed. But what if they're not there? It's a waste of magic to do that. Phantasma Warriors. Fey Foot Folk. Soldiers from the Dream World. So the Fey mimic the dreams and legends of mankind, form mock courts with queens ruling over vassals, soldiers. Ah, Fey footmen are alabaster skinned warriors, wreathed in illusions. They don shimmering armors of crystal and mother of pearl, and their swords are made of dream wrought dream wrought glass. In the dream wild, the lands are divided between the summer summer courts and the winter courts. If the cast in a cold province, uh unseely soldiers will appear instead of Fey footmen. Okay. Here's our mana cores. Don't have the earth to do that, though. Eh, maybe. No, we don't have anybody to earth. Spirits of the wood. Forest trolls. Winged monkeys. A vermin feast. Uh, what I want to... Caster makes vermin like rats and cockroaches or shrimps and crabs attracted to the supply stores of a besieged castle. The vermin will make sure that the supplies do not last very long. Okay, so... Sieging people eat all their food. Blue cap, fantastic beast, fey knights, can do that. Waken the sleeper. Caster locates and awakens an ancient hero from his eternal sleep. Sleeper is a human 
huge human hero armed with ancient weapons, waiting for the final cataclysmic battle that will decide the fate of the world. The hero is awakened and made to serve the caster until that time. The sleeper is an exceptionally good general, and soldiers under his command will rarely be routed from battle. Sounds like a good commander. So maybe we'll do conjuration for a little while. Or should we do more construction? We should do the avocation so that uh, Veronica can actually do something in combat. Throw webs around. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that. Uh, Lug has found two sites. Devil's Furnish and Dreamlight. Veronica has searched and found nothing. The afflictions were cured, though, by Veronica. And troublemakers have been dealt with. It was up here, right? Yeah. Okay, so the Devil's Furnace, one fire gem per turn. Oh, a fire mage may enter to summon one to five fiery imps. Oh. Dreamlight. Mm, glamour gem, one per turn. So he is, Luke is a uh, fire mage. Into the Devil's Furnace. Summon some imps. See if that works. We've got some fire gems, so it should work. And recruitment. Nothing special that we want. Should I build a defensive thing here? We'll be here for a little while. We'll be here for a while. So, construct palisades or a lab. Lab? Palisades this takes five months, so get that started. Defend will work. Next turn. Look at all the commanders aren't doing anything. Who's not? Oh, stay there. Benny. Oh, so another druid. So now our assassin's got two weapons. Blade of Grass and the Man Gosh. So it's getting better. Back to researching. Hey, Taco, welcome back. How am I doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? So, what kind of cool spells can you cast that will help us? Why is that red? Does it not have the skill for it? Only has the one. So why is it? Oh, no big deal. Cast spells.
can lead 15. And you can do the... Oh, but you can't do the cool spells that we need. Do you? Can you? Don't have the wind magic, so we don't really want you leading them. So, just casting spells. Need more druids. Now oh, you're assassin. See, druids are good because of this. They do the air shield, your shot, and the venom arrows, and that. See, of course, you need more druids, though. It's got home from changing the tires. Sounds fun. <laughs> Not really, but. Oh, but it's not what I want. We want druids. But we can't afford druids, so we'll have to wait. Uh, so research, research, research. All set. Oh, so who's not doing... Oh, these two aren't... They're defending up here. Just got nothing else to do. Expected event. Unrest plus 28 population. Well, really? <sighs> We're patrolling here. Why isn't that dealt with? We're supposed to be squashing the insurrectionist here, but it's not working. Random events. Defending. So blue. So he's entering the site. Is he? Has it done it yet? I guess. Ah, oh, there they are. So little fiery imps. They have a pitchfork. They throw flames. A range of 25, even. Imps are small and weak devils. This kind of, this kind of surrounded by hot flames can throw darts of fire. So you guys. Follow Luke. Look. Cannot... Oh, they're undead? <sighs> they're demons. Raised there are not affected by spells that only target undead, such as wither bones. All demons have perfect dark vision. They're not affected by spells that only target undead. Yes, gimpies, so. GMPs. GMP. GMPYs. So, can't actually lead these. Why can't you lead the undead? Because undead are special. We don't have any. Wait a minute. That's right. Undead have their own spot, don't they? They're not just magic. They're, they are specifically undead. That's why I can't lead them. I'm sure I would have known that before. I mean, we can still summon them for fun. They'll just be in the garrison, right? He's got nothing else to do. Build a lab. We don't have the money. Hey, Gimpy, <coughs> it is time to take a break. But. Your next break is in one hour. Now we have enough to summon or to recruit a druid, though, right? You can do a couple of druids. And they can only lead 10 of these each, so I guess we can recruit a couple more just for fun. Oh, 
Okay, so that. So I do need to get up, stretch my exit tomorrow, and that kind of fun stuff. Unfortunately, though, this is going to be it for Dominions today. Uh, when I get back from break, we'll be switching over to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous with viewer group 12 in the Midnight Eye. Sorry, Curse. Treasure of the Midnight Isles DLC. With viewer 12, they're looking to kill a, the number two boss today. Fingers crossed. Hopefully they do. Also, when we get back from the break, uh, we'll be getting started in the process uh, for the monthly giveaway, giving away a $25 Steam gift card in a little while. And uh, like I said, we'll get that started when we get back from our break. So thank you very much for watching. I'll be back shortly. Oh, also, if you're here specifically for Dominion 6, we'll be playing this again next Sunday. Same, roughly same time at day. So I haven't said that. Get up, stretch my legs, get some water. Be back in a few minutes. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the dog video.